Alright guys, welcome back to your 21st Google Chrome extension development tutorial and in this tutorial we will be finally finishing off with our extension by spicing up our rich notifier a little bit. So, so far and so forth we have been using, uh, we have been coding just the core functionality of the extension, how it would work and how would the debugging process take place and all that stuff. But now it's time to spice up our extension a little bit. So, what the heck? <coughs> I would rather prefer to kill Firefox. And now, the moment when your task manager does not open. So here it is, and I'll just kill it. Goodbye, Firefoxy. Wow! Wow, that's what a coincidence, man. Anyways, getting back to work. So, where were we? Yeah, so to spice up our extension. So, let's reload this and see that uh, right here we have got a very ugly kind of notifier. We can actually spice it up a little bit. So, let's see how we can do that. So first of all, right here, let's leave it here uh, <coughs> as it is, but for here, let's modify some things. So let's say uh, you got a new notification on Twitter, and this is supplied by Twitter notifier. <coughs> and message is this one. The next thing we can add is context, uh, context message. And this message is kind of dim message uh, which appears at the bottom. So we can just write our extension name th there. And don't forget to put a comma. And what we can do is to make our extension more interactive, we can create some buttons in our which notify which I haven't taught you till now but I'll teach you now how to create buttons in uh, your rich notifier in Google Chrome so let's see so to create buttons what we can do is we'll just write buttons and a colon and something like this because there would be more than there could be more than one button and the title here should be or without quotes actually title here the title of the button should be open link and you could actually also give a icon URL of your uh, icon which appears left to this link but for now I'll just leave it to blank that means I won't give it anything so yeah, we have got a new button right here and let's see how our extension looks right now <coughs> let's reload this and obviously we need to have some work done and uh, the last one we have retweet let's just retweet this and we have got our notification like this so you got a new notification on Twitter may hold retweeted you and Twitter notifier and we can actually open link using this and uh, let's see how you can do that so we have got our button now working on a new notification new notifier so let's see how you can attach <coughs> link to your button and to do that first of all we have to do the same thing we did in a uh, couple of tutorials or maybe more back so chrome dot notifications dot on button clicked dot add listener if function obviously and this function would take maybe one or two arguments uh, one is notification id and the second one I don't remember frankly so since we have only one button right now so we don't need any arguments because <coughs> this function would be fired only when our <coughs> sorry 
this button open link would be clicked so I'll just like to open the window to the notifications page that's it alright so that's kinda it so we have successfully developed our extension so let's see it in action so let's say I um, disable this and why not just apply the icon as well in the manifest.json so icons should be um, there should be a comma 32 icon.png 64 icon.png and 16 well we don't require 16 so that should be good enough and let's enable this reload this and we have got this ni nice little icon the first twitter notifier let's close this and let's disable this for now let's first of all let me remove all of my activity of the retweet so we can just <coughs> have a look at how it looks now finally so I'm just removing all the retweets I did and in the chrome notification area the na uh, the latest tweet I have got is Mehul retweeted you <coughs> alright so now let's start our extension so that's how it would appear when a user installs it user will get this one time whenever the user launches his or her browser then he or she can close this get started with this work with the, the window closed obviously and whenever some strange visitor like this one does any activity then automatically you'll get that in how many seconds in uh, where it is yeah in 20 seconds so that's kind of a uh, long duration I can actually drop it but we would be getting the notification anytime now in 3 2 1 1 2 3 4 5 3 2 1 now wow that's embarrassing come on come on come on this should be it Whoa that's strange let's check out what happened and in the background page as well the array is not updating so there is no notification here as well so where did it go let's reload this now and Twitter is at fault now because it's not updating notifications about the favorite of tweet let's retweet this let's favorite this retweet alright so we have got this link Mayhul favorite to your tweet let's open this link and bingo we have got this page opened by default and the best thing about this extension the user um, actually need not to authenticate his twitter account with some oaths logins or all that stuff so you can basically just go ahead grab the user uh, information from a JAX request <coughs> this HTML data filter it out a little bit and with some awesome jQuery library code you could make such powerful extensions with nice chrome effects so I hope you like this tutorial and I'll see you then next time